from West Virginia Public Broadcasting. Support for the following is provided by the West Virginia Department of Education and West Virginia Public Broadcasting. Hey! Hey everyone, it's Education Station! Hi, and welcome back to Education Station. I'm your host, Alex Milanese. Education Station is a show where we invite teachers from all across West Virginia to submit videos of themselves teaching their favorite lessons. In today's episode, we've got three exciting lessons about health and wellness from the Nicholas County Career and Technical Center. So all of today's segments come from the Therapeutic Services class at the Nicholas County Career and Technical Center. The first video is going to get us up and moving because it's a lesson about the importance of stretching. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Stephanie Cole and I'm a second year nursing student at Nicholas County Career and Technical Center. Today we'll be learning about the importance of stretching on the body. Stretching helps us become strong and healthy so we can do all our favorite activities without injury. Also, our energy is increased by stretching so we can be as active as we please. To begin, we have a couple of volunteers to help demonstrate these important stretches. Feel free to follow along at home to perform the following stretches. Hi, my name is Jackie and I'm a second year nursing student here at NCCTC. Um, we're going to show you some stretches. Normally when you do these, you do about five or six, but we're just going to show you a couple. So go ahead and get up off your couch and join us if you can. All right, the first one we're going to do is standing toe touches. You reach down and try to touch your toes for 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, the next stretch we're gonna do is arm stretches. This stretches your upper arm. All right, you take your right arm and you cross it over your left and you hold it for 15 seconds on each side. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, now you switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, now the next stretch we're gonna do are lunges. This stretches um, either the back of your leg or your calf, depending on which one you do. The first one you can do is you step forward with your right leg and try to get your left knee to touch the ground or you can keep your leg straight and that will stretch your calves. We're gonna do 15 on each side. All right, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, now I do the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, the next stretch we're gonna do is quad stretches. This stretches the front of your thigh right here. You're gonna take your foot and you're gonna grab it with your hand and we're gonna hold each side for 15 seconds. If you can't balance, you can grab onto a wall or a partner. All right, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, now your other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, this stretch is the morning stretch. It stretches basically everything from your hips up all the way up to your fingertips. 
Are you gonna reach up and you're gonna stretch just like you're getting out of bed? All right, we're gonna hold this for 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, the last stretch that I'm gonna show you is called the wrist meatballs. This stretches your wrists and all the muscles in your hand. All right, you take them here, we're gonna do 20 rotations of these. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, the first stretch we're gonna do is windmills. You can do these forwards, backwards, little or big, and they stretch your arms. The first ones we're gonna do are 10 little ones and we're gonna do those forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And now we're gonna go backwards and we're gonna do those big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The next thing we're gonna do are trunk twists and this stretches your back and your abdomen. We're gonna do five of these to each side for 10 in total and you're gonna hold them for about two seconds. You take your arms and you just twist over to one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get on the ground, and this is called the pigeon. You take your front leg, you bend it into the middle of your body and straighten your back leg out. This stretches your upper leg muscles along with your calves. We're gonna hold these for 15 seconds on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now you do the same thing just with your other leg and you hold this for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The next thing we're gonna do is a butterfly. You put your feet together in the center of your body and you're gonna hold this for 20 seconds. Push your feet back towards your body as far as you can. This stretches your leg muscles as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, the next thing we're gonna do is sitting toe touch. You can have your feet together for this one or you can have them apart and do it to each side. Jackie's gonna have her feet apart and do them to each side. You wanna hold these for 20 seconds. You just reach down and touch your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And the last thing we're gonna do is the pretzel. You keep your left leg straight, take your right leg and put your foot beside your left knee. Take your left arm and stick it on the side of your right knee and you just push your body with your left arm. You're gonna hold these for 15 seconds on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now you switch and do the exact same thing, just the opposite way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hopefully you enjoyed learning about the importance of stretching on the body. Remember to stretch before all your favorite activities. Thank you for watching. Thanks everyone. You know, stretching is a great way to be proactive with your health. Another way to take control of your overall health is with proper dental hygiene. So next up, we have a quick lesson about proper teeth brushing technique. Let's check it out. My name is Mrs. Kessler from the Nicholas County Career and Technical Center. I'm the nursing teacher here, and I've got some of my first year nursing students with us today to talk to you a little bit about the proper way to brush your teeth. Um, as overall health goes, Teeth brushing and, and mouth care is very, very important and sometimes it gets a little bit neglected because everybody's in a hurry and we've got other things to do and we don't brush long enough or don't brush the right way. So I've got three students here today that are going to help show you the right way to brush so that we can make sure that your mouth stays healthy and when your mouth and teeth are healthy, so is the rest of your body. Very quickly, I have a, an example I want to show you. This is what a healthy tooth looks like. Um, this is the roots that run down into your gum line, and you can see how, how they've got a little bit of blood in them. They're you know, healthy, and the nerves are healthy, and they look really good. There's no decay on the top, no cavities. The sugar bugs haven't gotten to them, so this tooth is really, really healthy. This is a person that's done a really good job brushing their teeth, like my students are going to show you how to in just a few minutes. On the other side is someone who hasn't taken the time to brush their teeth, hasn't done a good job. And this is what their teeth look like. And you can see all the brown and the discoloration, and those are called cavities. And that's where too much sugar or too much food has stayed on the tooth for too long. Plaque or tartar has built up on it, and it's caused the tooth to break down. And you can see it's gone down into the roots and into the nerves and it'll cause a lot of pain. It'll give you really bad breath. It'll make your smile not be pretty and straight. So that's why we're doing this today. So you don't have cavities and so that your teeth look really good and really healthy and you have a really nice smile for all of your pictures. So I'm going to introduce you to my three students here in just one minute and they are going to get started. Um, up first will be Lily Meadows with an explanation of how you should brush your teeth. Hi, I'm Lily Meadows. I'm a first year student at the Nicholas County Career and Technical Center. I'll be demonstrating and showing you how to brush your teeth properly. First, you want to start at the corners and go in a circular motion. And you want to do this all the way, right, all the way around your teeth. You also want to go on the bottom and kind of get the inside of your teeth. And for example, so you can see better, Go like this. You want to make sure not to go too hard when you're brushing your teeth so it won't damage the gums. And then you also want to do the same thing on the bottom. Go in a circular motion around the bottom. Then go on top of your teeth and make sure to get the insides also. And then you also want to make sure to brush your tongue. And next, we'll be having a demonstration on why you should brush your teeth the proper way. The proper brushing technique is to use two minutes. Lacey here is going to show you the wrong way to brush your teeth. You can see we added food coloring on her teeth to represent plaque. She is now going to brush her teeth and show you the wrong way to brush your teeth. You see how she didn't even put toothpaste on? That is another thing that is very important to do. And if she would have put toothpaste on and brushed for the proper time, she would have got all that nasty stuff off her teeth. So make sure when you brush your teeth that you remember to brush for the two minutes and to brush the correct way. Next, we'll be having Hannah Sigler come up and show you the proper way to brush your teeth. Hi, I'm back with you with Hannah Sigler. We're going to show you the proper brushing techniques and why it's so important to brush your teeth. The green food coloring she has on her teeth represents plaque. And we're gonna show you the whole two minutes of why it's so important to brush your teeth. We are now gonna get started. As you can see, we're watching Hannah brush her teeth for a total of two minutes, 30 seconds on each section. And now let's see what the final product looks like. All right guys, so we're back to see how well Hannah did brushing her teeth. Hannah, if you could smile for the camera and you can see she did a really good job she brushed for two minutes just like she was supposed to got all the plaque and the tartar that was represented by the food coloring off and her teeth look really great and pearly white so kids just remember that when you're brushing your teeth spend the total two minutes on it make sure you rinse and if you want to floss um, and make sure that you're using the right toothpaste and just do a really good job to keep your teeth healthy because that helps keep your entire body healthy thanks for joining us Thanks everyone. Now, since today's theme has been health and wellness, we wanted to finish off the episode with a fun health and science-based quiz game that you can play along with at home. Let's check it out. 
All right, guys, welcome back. It's Mrs. Kessler again. Um, and this time we are going to play a fun little game, a little trivia game with you guys at home. Um, I've got two of my third year students here, Brycey and Devin, and they are going to be challenging each other to answer these questions and see who can do the best. There's some science questions, there's some medical questions, just an odd mix of, of different things. Um, you guys at home, grab a pencil and a piece of paper, keep track with us. I'll let you know what the right answers are um, once we're finished. Keep track and see if you guys can do better than these two high school students. All right, there are 21 questions. Question number one, what percent of humans sweat is water? A, 0%, B, 10%, C, 50%, or D, 99%? 99%. Ninety-nine percent. That is correct. How much we sweat is unique to each individual, and factors like gender or age can contribute to a person sweating either more or less. All right, guys, question number two. The strongest muscle in the human body is A, the jaw, B, the bicep, C, the hamstring, or D, the nostril? The Devin? Jaw. The jaw, that is correct. The human jaw can close teeth with a force as great as 200 pounds or 890 newtons. Number three, adults have 206 bones. More than half are located where? A, the legs, B, the torso, C, the hands and feet, or D, in the ears? Ooh, Bryce, you're about to catch up. Devin. The hands and feet. That is correct, the hands and feet. 106 bones are located in our hands and feet. Bones in the arms are among the most commonly broken bones and account for almost half of all adult bone injuries. Question number four, true or false? You can physically see high cholesterol. Bricey. True. That is true. It is possible to see signs on your body that you may have high cholesterol. Small cholesterol-filled bumps can visibly form under your skin. It can be an indicator of possible heart disease. The lesions can be found all over your body and tend to appear on the skin of older adults with diabetes or heart conditions. All right, Bricey's making a comeback. Question number five. Bananas can actually help improve your mood because they contain 30% of your daily intake of which vitamin? Ooh. Ah, 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 multiple choice. <laughs> hang on, hang on. No points will be deducted for that, but letter A, vitamin D. Letter B, vitamin B6. Letter C, vitamin C. Or D, Flintstone vitamins. Devin. Vitamin D. Is that A, B, C, or D, sir? Oh, A? That is incorrect. Brycey, would you like to steal his point by answering correctly? B. <laughs> the correct answer is B. <laughs> Vitamin B6 helps the brain produce serotonin, which is considered a mood stabilizer. Serotonin impacts your motor skills and emotions. It is also the chemical that helps you to sleep and digest food. Question number six. Optimism may help you live longer. According to studies, having high cholesterol or what sorry. According to studies, <laughs> having high levels of optimism can reduce the risk of heart disease by A, 5%, B, 25%, C, 40%, or D, 60%. Devin. B, 25%. That is incorrect. Bracey, would you like an opportunity? C. That is correct. C, 40%. <laughs> Studies have found that there is a correlation between increasing levels of optimism with decreasing levels of death from cancer, disease, infection, and stroke. This is particularly true for cases of cardiovascular or heart disease. Question number seven. Sitting at a desk for more than 10 hours per day can increase your risk of death by A, 11%, B, 13%, C, 23% or D, 48%? Devin? B, 13%. That is incorrect. Brycey? D. That is correct. Letter D. <laughs> to counteract this health risk, try to introduce five minutes of activity every hour and make sure you take regular breaks away from your workstation. Good job, Brycey. <laughs> Way to steal all these points. Question number eight. ATMs are about as dirty as... A, a toilet, B, a park bench, C, a cell phone, 
Or D, a mud puddle? <laughs> Devin? A cell phone? Eh. Brycey, would you like an opportunity to steal? A. A. ATMs are as dirty as toilets. Specialists <laughs> in Great Britain insta- investigated swabs taken by from the cash machine keyboards and from public toilets nearby and found that both samples had about the same bacteria that are known to lead to sickness. That's kind of gross. Question number nine. Smelling which item can prevent claustrophobia? A, an apple. B, a Red Bull. C, a flower. Or D, leather. Brycey? C. That is incorrect. Devin? (laughs) A Red Bull. (laughs) That is also incorrect. The correct answer is A, an apple. Apparently, smelling a green apple will relieve the stress associated with confined spaces. According to research from the Smell and Taste Treatment and Research Foundation, I'm not sure that's a real thing, sniffing a green apple can also prevent headaches and migraines, and some homeowners even use the scent to make their houses seem bigger for potential buyers. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Question number 10. True or false? If you're tired, you should exercise. Devin. True. That is true. Point for Devin. A study published in Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise found that levels of fatigue and depression improved after a 30-minute session of moderate intensity exercise. This is because exercise improves your cardiovascular health, which means that more blood and oxygen flow around the body, therefore giving you more energy. All right, question number 11. Which activity is linked to improving your memory? A, scrolling social media, B, running long distances, C, brushing your teeth, or D, handwriting. Running long distances. That is incorrect. Brycey, would you like to steal? Handwriting. That is correct. D, handwriting. (laughs) Writing is thought to boost your memory as note taking by hand requires different cognitive processes than typing. For example, If in a lecture you're writing notes, you have to listen carefully to what the speaker has said as it is impossible to write down every word. Therefore, through this process, you're listening, digesting, and summarizing information more effectively than someone who is just typing words on a laptop. Number 12, true or false? Standing on one foot for an extended period of time can decrease the risk of tooth decay. Bryson? False. That is correct. The answer is false. (laughs) It makes no sense. Of course it's false. Number 13. Laughing can increase blood flow by A, 13%, B, 20%, C, 40%, or D, not at all. Brycey? C. That is incorrect. Devin, would you like to steal her point? B. That is correct. B, 20%. This is why laughing is good for your heart as well as your mood. Question number 14. What is the largest organ in the human body? A, the brain. B, the stomach. C, the skin. Or D, the veins. Devin? The skin. That is correct. You remembered something from class. Um, The skin defends against disease and infection and regulates your temperature and aids in vitamin production. Good job. All right, guys, question number 15. When it comes to memory, how do men and women compare? A, about equally. B, women are more forgetful. C, men are more forgetful. Or D, what was the question? C. That is correct. C, (laughs) men are more forgetful. Numerous studies dedicated to comparing the memory abilities of men and women consistently prove that men are more forgetful than women. One 2015 study published in the Quarterly Journal of Experimental Psychology hypothesizes that this could be due to the varying brain structures of men and women. Specifically, the hippocampus, the part of the brain that's associated with memory, begins to decrease in volume faster in men than in women. Number 16, eating eggs can help increase your A, reflexes, B, social media presence, C, your height, or D, your sense of smell. Devin? D. That is incorrect. Ricey? 
A? That is correct. <laughs> Eating eggs helps to increase your reflexes. Eggs contain an amino acid called tyrosine, which the body synthesizes into compounds that increase energy, alertness, and improve mood. Number 17. Exercising when you're young can do which of the following? A. Alter your hair color. B. Slow bone deterioration. C. Improve taste buds. Or D. Decrease headaches. Devin? B. The correct answer is B. Exercising when you're young can slow bone deterioration. <laughs> According to a 2014 study, exercising during childhood helps to fortify bones and prepare them for the wear and tear that comes with aging. Number 18, blood makes up about what percent of your body weight? A, 0.5%, B, 1.3%, C, 5%, or D, 10%? Oh, I think it was, I think it was Devin. Um. <laughs> D. D is the correct answer. Your blood makes up about 10% of your body weight. The average adult has anywhere from 1.2 to 1.5 gallons of blood flowing through their veins. All right, Bryce, got to catch up. <laughs> We've only got a couple questions left. Question number 19. A tick bite can actually make you allergic to A, school, B, dairy, C, red meat, or D, leafy greens. <laughs> I think it was pricey. C. C, red meat. In a strange and growing trend, some people who have gotten bitten by the Lone Star Tick develop a sudden allergy to red meat, according to the American College of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. For some people, the allergy fades over time, but for others, it's permanent. Number 20. Humans are the only animals with A, opposable thumbs, B, predictable hunger patterns, C, Elbows or D, chins. Devin? Chins? Chins, that is the correct answer. Of course, other animals have jaws, but only humans actually have chins. <laughs> Though scientists aren't entirely sure why we have this feature, one theory is that our chins make it easier for us to chew. Who knew? All right, last question. This is for the game. From the year 2000 to 2015, what happened to global life expectancy? A, it stayed about the, I'm sorry, it stayed about the same. B, it decreased three years. C, it increased six months. Or D, it increased five years. Devin? D. That's correct. The global life expectancy has increased five years. This is largely due to advancements in technology, medicine, and better public health measures. All right, guys, that is the end of our game. According to totals, Devin is our quiz superstar for today. We want to thank everybody for joining into our episode. We hope you learned some new, fun, fascinating facts that you can share with some of your family and friends. Have a good day. Thanks, everyone. All right, well, that wraps up everything for us here today on Education Station. We want to thank the Nicholas County Career and Technical Center for those awesome lessons. And we want to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time right here on Education Station.